Praise the Lord, saints. Come on, let's give the Lord a hand praise on this morning. Thank you, Jesus. Today's scripture will be read from Psalms 1. For those who can, for those who have your Bibles, please stand for the reading of the word. It says, blessed is the man who walks not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor stands in the path of sinners, nor sits in the seat of the scornful, but his delight is in the law of the Lord. And in his law, he meditates day and night. He shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that brings forth fruit in its season, whose leaves also shall not wither, and whatever he does shall prosper. May the Lord add a blessing to the reader, the hearer, and definitely the doer of his word. We will now go into prayer. Heavenly Father, we come before you just thanking you for this beautiful day that you have given us. Thank you for keeping your angels camped out around us as we slept last night. Thank you, Lord, for the beautiful Thanksgiving holiday that you have given us to be able to be with family and friends. We pray, Lord, for the sick and the shut in. I ask God that you touch, touch them right now, wherever they may be. We know you are a healer, a provider, Jehovah Jireh, Jehovah Rapha. We ask God that you touch each and every person in this place today and fill them with your love and your joy and your peace and kindness and gentleness and self-control and patience. In the mighty name of Jesus, I thank you. And let everyone under the sound of my voice say thank God. And amen. 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 Oh, magnify the
took us all the way through Thanksgiving, and now he brought us back to the house of the Lord.
to you. Yes, yes. My hallelujah belongs to you.
Continue to let blood flow through our veins. Let our hearts beat still us up on our feet on this morning. Happy Thanksgiving. Same to you. Amen. Because it's Thanksgiving every day. Am I right about it? Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Come on, let's give the musicians. Beautiful, beautiful. I like to pray first when I come to the sacred desk. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we come before you in your son's name, Jesus Christ, our Lord and our Savior. Thanking you, Lord, yes. for everything that you have done in our lives and thanking yes, you in advance yes, what yes. you're going to do. Mm. We thank you for healing. Hallelujah. We thank you for deliverance. Yes. We thank you for an overflow of blessings. Hallelujah. 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 We thank you, Lord, thank you. for your sanctuary. Yes, Lord. Yes. The church, the house of prayer. Yes, Lord. A house of holiness, a house of deliverance, a house of love, and we thank you and praise you. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen. 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 I'm going to read from the book of Ephesians, scripture, chapter 3, verse 21. say amen. If you don't, just say wait a minute. It's okay. Ephesians chapter 3 verse 21 says to him, be glory in the church by Christ Jesus to all generations forever and ever. Amen. And I want to go down to verse 11 because I'm going somewhere with this. It says, and he himself gave, gave some apostles, some prophets, some evangelists, and some pastors and teachers for the equipping of the saints for the work of ministry for the edifying of the body of Christ may the Lord add a blessing to the reader and hear and doer of his word I wanted to speak and I spoke on this a few weeks ago at the church in Santa Monica but I wanted everyone to be on one accord because the church that you may be seated thank you the church that we are merging together, bringing together, I have heard it, and I wanted to make sure you guys did so everyone can be on one accord to build God's church. Is that all right? Amen. 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 I say that because I want these, I see the angels in the pews, but I know God wants these pews filled. Amen. 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 I know he wants these use field. But we have to edify one another first. Hallelujah. Am I right about it? Hallelujah. I say that because just like, you know, when I, I remember my father used to tell me that, you know, when you walk into, well, first of all, just open the door for the ladies and respect the elders. Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. When you walk into yes. the building, we always wore our hats. We took our hats off and the church, we and the kids wouldn't chew gum, just edifying one another. Yes. Is that okay? Hallelujah. Amen. And I'm going to go scripture because it says in Thessalonians, therefore we will be hindered. We will be hindered. I'm going to start with as the congregation grows. We, we may face some various trials and challenges. Hallelujah. And I say that because the devil will certainly love to hinder us in doing our work. 
yes. that God has called us to do. Yes, Lord. First Thessalonians 2.18 reads, Therefore we wanted to come to you, even I, Paul, time and time again, but Satan mm -hmm. hindered us. Yes. See, he does this by not always being evident mm -hmm. because he's a great deceiver. Yes. But through some simple, seemingly harmless diversion, the devil can lead us astray. That's why we must therefore take on the whole ammunition and hold fast onto God. Because hmm. Revelation 3 11 says, Behold, I am coming quickly. Hold fast what you have that you and no one may take the crown that I have for you. Yes, Lord. Yes. But see, accepting any challenges that the devil might throw our way, I say it all the time. The devil doesn't cross your path. That means you're walking with him. So you got to step over him, step on him, and keep on moving. Yes, Lord. Amen, yes. somebody? Yes. I say that because we have to be steadfast, always working for the Lord. Yes. And I just want to look at some challenges that any congregation, mm -hmm. any kind of congregation must meet to serve the Lord faithfully. Yes. We got to remember what our work is. And that is to equip the saints for ministry, edification. We are to provide spiritual growth of each member. And how this is done is by going through the word of God. Because sometimes we think we could talk to somebody and help somebody and speak to somebody. But then we don't have an ear to hear. And then we want to tell them what we feel instead of what the word of God says. Hallelujah. Come on somebody. Hallelujah. We got to remember what our work is and sound forth of the gospel. Hmm. Our evangelizing. Like the church in Thessalonica. And Thessalonians. But you know they was in Thessalonica. But it reads 1 and 8. Far from you, the word of the Lord has sounded forth, not only in Macedonia and Achaia, but also in every place. Your faith towards God has gone out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that we don't need to say anything. Hallelujah, hallelujah. But through the individual and collective efforts, we must sow seed as our building feels. It becomes tempting to mm -hmm. slack off. Because sometimes we feel that others will pick up the slack. Amen, amen. And I'm not talking about vacuuming the floor, or cleaning the church. Or, I mean, we can all do that together. I'll even do that. But I mean, slacking and spreading the gospel. Yes, yes. Slacking and going out and evangelizing and inviting people to the church. Hallelujah, hallelujah. We think somebody else is going to do it. Yes, yes. But we got to remember our work is to provide for the saints. Hallelujah. Benevolence. Meaning kindly, being charitable. Yes. And even there's no need of the local church, it goes far beyond providing a place where people can come. We got to go out yes, yes. and build God's church. Amen, amen. I mean, it's the simple worship from week to week. We should be preparing, our, be preparing ourselves for the work that God has given us to do. We'll meet the challenges. Yes. And I say that because another challenge we've got to face in the church is we must live above pettiness. Yes, 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 yes. We have to, because even good churches can be hindered by pettiness. Hallelujah, hallelujah. <laughs> but it has to go to the place where the churches lose sight of the primary purpose. Yes. That's when we're in trouble. Because yes, see, they're right for being torn apart by selfishness and gossip and jealousy, competition. But we must see large, largely above all that. Mm. The importance of our work is to be comparison to what God wants us to do. To take away our own personal problems. Everyone has problems. Nobody's perfect. Yes. God told us no man is righteous, not one. Yes. But we got to be in a place where we stand steadfast and immovable, abounding in his work. Hallelujah. Right. That's why we have to remember what, even what Paul was talking about. Mm. But the sad thing is it would be to have a congregation hindered Hallelujah. by the enemy, mm. by pettiness. Yes. But yet so many congregations do allow it. Hallelujah. It's just like cancer. It's just like things where, where only way a flower can bloom is cut the weeds off. Mm. And you have to be able to have that 
attitude of gratitude to say when somebody's having problems, you have to be able to let them know, look, we're here to help you, not talk about you, not gossip about your family, not gossip about your job, not gossip about your relationship. We're here to help you. Yes, hallelujah. It's easy for us to be those challenges if we stay in the word. But at the same time, we meet another challenge. Yes, yes. We have to remember that we have to have an attitude of gratitude for our blessings. We got so much to be thankful for as individuals. Hallelujah. We have physical blessings. We have families. We have friends, homes, health and freedoms, jobs. Mm -hmm. And we have spiritual blessings from Amen. the salvation Amen. of Christ. Mm -hmm. Forgiveness of our sins, a peace of mind to love God and yes. the strength of the Holy Spirit to build us so we can help somebody else. Yes, amen. And definitely the hope of heaven. Yes. But as a congregation, we have to be far from turmoil, yes. free to worship the Lord, filled with the love and the unity, blessed by this new sanctuary yes, that's been standing on a rock. Signs of numerical spiritual growth. We are blessed yes. and highly favored. Blessed by the best. Praying for the rest. That's what I say all the time. Because sometimes it's better for me to be able to go and pray for somebody so we can build together. Sometimes we pray for just ourselves or just people that we used to pray for just on our own each and every day. But you're not even praying for somebody else that can help you get a prayer to heaven when you need help. So much to say on this, but we gotta celebrate yes. our attitude of gratitude. Mm. We have to know just how Paul exhorted in Colossians to be thankful. Yes. Colossians 1 and 2, he says, giving thanks to the Father, mm. abounding with thanksgiving, the peace of God rules over your heart. Giving thanks to God in Colossians 3 and 17, and being vigilant in prayer with thanksgiving. I say that because I want the church to grow. Amen. And if there's anything, anything that you guys, I am very accessible. I need you to come and talk to me. I need you to pray with me. If you say you're not feeling good, ask me for prayer. If you see someone else don't have a smile on their face, go to them and say, can I help you? Can I pray for you? Matter of fact, can you pray for me? Hallelujah. Yes. We have to build God's church. Yes, Lord. And I thank God for each and every person that's here. Because I have so much to say on this. But it has to get to a point where we have to be vigilant. Yes, yes. We have to be filled with the Holy Spirit. Amen. It's time for a change. Yes. We have to do a new thing. Yes. And I say that again because I always have to go back to scripture. He says to himself, he gave some apostles, some prophets, mm. some evangelists. Yes. And some pastors and teachers. Hallelujah. For equipping the saints. Yes, for the work of the ministry. Yes, for edifying one another. Edifying the body. Yes. So we have to be in a place where we have to receive constructive criticism. Mm, yes. But the constructive criticism, uh -huh. the constructive is the word of God. Yes. Because you might not be feeling the same way the other person is feeling when you want to use your own words to tell them what to do, how to do it, and what they should do, and you're not doing it yourself. We stay on scripture. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I say that because we hear this is beautiful. I love it. I love it. We hear God says when everyone is on one accord, He will bring the increase. Yes. The yes. Holy Spirit will dwell. Amen. But if we plant and water, He's gonna bring the increase in the house. Yes. Amen, somebody. So if there's anything that anyone has, wants to say and has to say it in no scripture, we got to get back to Bible study. We got to get back to the first and fr the first and third Fridays of fellowship, opening up the doors for the people to come in, for the ladies, the seniors to come in and just want to worship the Lord and praise the Lord and come in. Yes. But we can do it. But we all need to do it together. And I don't want no one to be slacking. If you say you're going to do something, we have members that said they was coming today. Oh, I'm coming to the 8 o'clock service and start texting. I don't have time to answer no phone calls at no 8 o'clock anymore. If you're not here, the people God has, the people here who we won't see. It. Amen, somebody? But we have to pray for them to have, for them to have God's strength to be able to make it next 8 o'clock service. Because we know they're going to show up at 11.30, but we need this 8 o'clock service filled. Amen. Because if it's time for them to go to work, <laughs> if it's time for them to go to court, yes. <laughs> they on time. Hallelujah, hallelujah. But it's all right. We still have to remember we have to stay filled with the Spirit mm. to pray for yes. them. Yes. 
to make sure that they come into the house, to make sure that we have wisdom, knowledge, and understanding to go out and evangelize. I said it last week. God doesn't care about all those titles and positions and bishops and now pastor. He likes to, he loves the evangelist. Amen. He wants us to go out Amen. and bear fruit. Amen. Get into some. I'm just overwhelmed because of the fact I love that God has given us an opportunity to fellowship this morning. Yes, yes, Lord. But I also know that he wants us to do the work. Yes. And we also have people that need to sit and just have an ear to hear. Like with Elder Chisholm. I know Elder Chisholm been with me 11 years. 11 years. We used to, to, to case the whole neighborhood, but he can't walk as far as he used to anymore. Amen. 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 But we need to go out and get other young men and young women to be able to take that place. Yeah. Amen, somebody? Yeah. I'm using him as an example because he was a track star. But God has healed him. He had a new heart. Yeah. So he can't do the things. Come on, we give the Lord a hand of praise for that. He had to give him a new heart. But the thing about it is God saved him to equip the saints with the word of God. Yes. He's a great teacher of the word. He graduated from a Bible college. And Evangelist James did as well. Amen. But when we got the word inside of us, and we got the strength yes. from the Holy Spirit to continue to move forward, we can do the work that God has called us to do. I talked about the diadems. So we got to get in the place where we have to love God. We got to know that God that healed us. He that delivered us from some things. He that anointed us, knowing that it's the anointing that destroys the yoke. Knowing that he gave a voice to be able to praise him. Ears to be able to hear. Eyes to be able to see. Hearts to be able to receive him. So as he gave us all these gifts, and he gave us all this power, we got to be able to fight off the enemy and do the work that God has called us to do. Yeah, yeah. Amen, somebody? Yeah, yeah. And if you can't do it, just say, okay, well, look, okay, Bishop, I want to sit down today, but I brought my little nephew, I brought my little grandson to step in my place because God still has work for them to do, and that is to edify the saints. Yes, hallelujah. We have to build this church. Yes, yes, Lord. We have to build the church. I love how Lord Williams was here, how it started. I thank God for the Wilsons keeping the doors open. Hey Amen. Somebody, come on, we give the Lord a hand praise for that. But now it's our turn as that next generation to do the work. Amen. If he gave you feet to be able to stand on, walk. If he gave a voice to be able to go praise him and tell somebody about Jesus, talk. Yes. Amen, somebody? Amen. And I say that because, see, some people say they already forgot. Hallelujah. But people that forget all the time are forgetful. <laughs> yes. But that don't mean you have to live forgetting. <laughs> so when other people give excuses, just tell them excuses have no uses. We take the C out of excuse, and the excuse is an excuse. But we have to be able to help one another. We have to be able to stand in the gap for one another. Yes. Hey Amen, somebody? Amen. We got to do this together. Y'all see how upstairs, downstairs we had last week? Amen. We need help taking that stuff upstairs, downstairs, and down the other stairs. Mother needs help. Amen. Hey Amen, somebody? Amen. I can't wait to say this speak on this at 1130 because I know they're going to come showing up at 1130, but I want them to show up not just to fill the pews, but to build God's church to help vacuum and clean up and cook and edify and go out in the streets and worship and evangelize to the Lord. And I'm saying this because it's a method to the ministry. Yes, I can hoop, I can preach, I can teach, but right now we're on the ground floor. Amen, amen. And it has to be built from the ground floor. So I need everyone to be on one accord. Amen. Amen, somebody? Amen. Come on, let's give the Lord a hand of praise. I'm not going to do I always call this the hour of power. The hour of power, because I know that see the grove. You know, we get in, y'all be here early. Mother Wilson, thank you for the coffee. I'm not even coffee drinking, but I'm gonna start now. Thank you. Amen. I was here early. I appreciate it. Thank you, Sister Shannon, for making that long drive, amen. And bringing the children. It's just a blessing. You have to remember, we have spiritual blessings as well. Hallelujah. We have the salvation in Christ. Yes. Forgiveness of our sins. We have a peace of mind. The love of God. The strength of the Holy Spirit. The hope of heaven. Mm -hmm. 
So with all these spiritual gifts that God has given us, it has to be used to help someone else. Because I know nobody in here was born saved, sanctified, and filled with the Holy Ghost. And you know your testimony. You know how you felt when you got baptized and them tears was coming down your eyes. You know. But we cannot let the enemy Amen. Yes. Amen. lead us astray. Hallelujah. Amen, somebody? Amen. Come on, let's give the Lord a hand. Praise. You see, brother, Wilson.